Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. This is Katie Novotny calling from Premier Marketing. We are thrilled for you guys to join us today. We are so excited to be announcing yet another long-term care product in the state of California. We are super excited to have Lawrence from National Guardian with us today. He is going to go over the product, the highlights, and some sales ideas, along with a production promotion that we are currently running. Wanted to invite anyone as questions come up, please type them in. We'll try to take care of them along the way, and anything we can't, we'll handle at the end. And before I hand this over to Lawrence, just a reminder, if anything comes up, whether it's NGL-related or you're just looking for some sales ideas or anything long-term care surrounding, please give us a call. Um, give us a, Megan and I would be happy to run some quotes or run you through some other things. Also, we'd love the opportunity to tell you about some other promotions we are running over the summer. So with that being said, Lawrence, you ready to take it away? I'm ready if you are, Katie. Thanks for the intro and um, thanks for the smooth transition there. You mentioned other promotions, so I'll start by talking about ours. So we are running uh, a promotion that I get real excited about because it's based on submitted applications. Doesn't have to be issued, placed, and all that. And the reason why we did it, because especially when I was in the field too, you know, we brought some of that perspective onto this. You know, you run a promotion, you get all excited about it, and then you wait maybe four or six weeks for the case to get issued and placed before you get to reap any of the benefits of it. Well, this is based on submitted business. As long as it's a viable application where you're appropriately licensed and, you know, there's not yes to a knockout question, we're going to give you a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. We're mailing them out every week. And uh, by the way, uh, to, this also kind of goes in with celebrating our California release, which happened on July the 6th. So if you've never submitted an NGL application before, for that first application, you'll get double. We'll give you two $100 Amazon gift cards. And for any app after that, you get a one, one $100 Amazon gift card for each submission after that. And there's no cap on this. So if you send us 50 apps between now and the end of August, you're going to get 50 gift cards. And if you're a first time producer, you'll have one extra. So this is a great promotion. Please take advantage of this. I would love to send you some free money if we can. Um, so I'm going to take the rest of the time today and divide it in probably a, an 80 10 or an 80 20 type of a segment here where I'm going to take about 10% of our time talking about NGL, uh, who we are as a company, so you're comfortable there. The rest of the time will be focusing on the highlights of the product, where this product's going to fit best, how it competes, and then the tail end, we'll do some Q&A. Um, if you know Katie uh, well enough, Katie and I get together, uh, get along very well. Um, I, it, it takes a lot for, to, to offend me uh, or throw me off my game. Uh, whatever questions you have, be as candid as possible. I'm happy to field your questions uh, towards the tail end. And Katie, if there's any pertinent questions that come in as I'm going through, feel free to um, interject and I'm happy to answer it if we're chatting about a particular feature or sales idea. So to begin, a uh, little bit on NGL. Um, we are an A minus -rate, rated, which is excellent company by AM Best. We've been around for eons, 110 years. and I believe we ended 2019 with over 4.7 billion in consolidated assets, um, phenomenal RBC ratio, on nearly 400 million, I believe, in capital surplus, really an A-looking balance sheet. So AM Best actually affirmed our rating of excellent, but upgraded our outlook from stable to positive. They did that earlier this year. And a lot of times, that's what precedes a rating upgrade. So we might even have better news there in the near future. And for our, our long-term care product, we partnered with an expert in the long-term care insurance area who's a third-party administrator. They've been doing this for three, over three decades. All they've ever done is long-term care. So we're able to use their expertise and all the knowledge they've gained over the last few decades, which, by the way, the industry of long-term care insurance as a whole learned a whole lot over the last 30 years. So we're able to take all of that and become a new carrier jumping into this field and not have any of that worry due to any legacy business or any baggage from underpriced or poorly underwritten products from, say, 20 years ago. We don't have any. 
So when I was in the field was when this product was released actually, and I was thrilled to have a new carrier that didn't have any legacy business, who came into this industry at a very smart time after it learned a whole lot about utilization and pricing and underwriting. So they're able to create a product that can just make decisions looking forward, not worried about anything they did in the past. So we're able to create this product called the Central LTC that of course we wanted to be competitively priced um, and we learned a whole lot about how to underwrite the right way, which by the way, the rest of the industry, I think we're all pretty well underwriting on the same plane. Um, so I think our underwriting is very well in line with what you're used to for traditional long-term care insurance. But most importantly, we wanted to create a product that could truly meet the needs of whatever the client was bringing up in that situation to give you the flexibility as a specialist to mold this thing to be what you want it to be. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a second, but I wanted to hit a quick highlight on availability. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're thrilled about our California release. July 6th, California finally became available for this product. Um, it was a long time coming. I think we filed it about three and a half, four years ago. So we were happy as can be to release this in California which now means, as you see on the screen, we're available in every state except for Montana and New York, both of which we are thinking about and hoping to be in in the future. Your light blue states are partnership states. Your dark blue states are not partnership for this product. So this is gonna be the agenda for the next fair amount of my conversation with you here, is that I'm gonna highlight why I think this is such a valuable product and how you can flex and mold it to what the consumer is telling you they want it to be. And I say on there, traditional long-term care can be what you want it to be. What I mean by that is now you have the ability to take one arrow out of your quiver in California or any of the other available states and have your traditional long-term care conversation. And if they get to the point where they're in that conundrum of what if I never need care, I just can't get past that, my money's gonna do nothing. Well, you don't have to put that arrow back in your quiver anymore and talk about a hybrid product and that company's history and how that product chassis works and all that stuff. With us, you can just check a box called return a premium. So the gray box on your screen here, I'm gonna talk about each one of these features, where we think it fits best. We're seeing a lot of good play with it today and why I think it's gonna be real valuable to you as you bring up in your um, sales conversations. So the first bit of this, I wanted to highlight what a tremendous opportunity we have for you to offer this product to couples. We issue a joint policy and our shared benefits are really unique. And I'm gonna talk more about it here. So let's just start with Mr. and Mrs. Insured, okay? You're talking to them about this product. They decide to purchase it. Well, if they get Essential LTC, they actually get one policy. It's a joint policy, but you see they each have their own blue bubbles there. They each have their own separate benefits. They will never touch each other's benefits. Now, and notice we call our shared benefits, we don't call it shared care, we call it a shared benefit amount rider because there is a third separate benefit pool that's available first come, first served, once you exhaust your own pool. So let's look at how this might work. So Mr. Insured goes on claim. He uses all of his benefits. What does he do now? Well, he can walk around or that's his little bridge to the shared benefit amount. He could use all of it or some of it. Let's say in this example, he uses about 80% and then he passes away. Well, Mrs. Insured still has her whole benefit pool left. Let's say she goes on claim and uses that. What can she do now? Well, she can walk across her little bridge, that blue arrow to the shared benefit amount and use what's left to her. So let's say for example, you were selling a three-year benefit period. With this structure, there's a total of nine potential years worth of care there. Three, three-year benefit periods. Whereas a competition shared care kind of a rider is two separate policies with a little bridge in between. So a total of six years of potential benefits versus nine. Here's how this really looks on paper. Now these aren't California rates, these are using generic states, but I think you'll see the idea. And I'm sure you can imagine who other traditional LTCI is. But um, I have had the comment of, you know, I've heard that NGL product's confusing. Well, we do have a lot of bells and whistles, but it can also be very simple. And on the screen here, if you look at the fine print on the bottom on what this plan is, 
It's plain Jane, straight down the middle, long-term care insurance. 200 a day, three years, shared, 3% compound. Doesn't get more straight down the middle or simple than that. So for a 55-year-old couple, as you see on the screen on the top row there, not only are we price competitive, but on the bottom row, look at the difference in potential benefits. Just because of the different structure of a joint policy with a third pool shared versus two separate policies with a shared bridge in between. I think if you're talking to couples, we absolutely should at least be an option on the table and as part of that discussion for this very reason. As for benefit periods, I do like to highlight that we do have a lifetime benefit period available. It is a traditional long-term care product with lifetime unlimited benefits. Alternatively, you can choose between a two, three, four, five, or six year benefit period. And again, shared with the couples to have that third pool. Premium, I like to make a highlight here because you now can sell, if you use our single premium payment, you can sell guaranteed premium traditional long-term care insurance. If you do a single pay, it is non-cancelable, fully paid up on day one, will never be subject to a rate increase. If you do our 10-year premium payment, once it's paid up in that 10th year, it is fully paid up, not subject to rate increases. And we also have the lifetime premium payment available, but I think these are great tools or options for you to check the box for if the concern about a potential future rate increase comes up. You can do a single pay or a 10 pay to mitigate that concern. And we also have some pretty interesting return of premium features that would provide a benefit at death if care is never needed, or another one where if care is needed, it would still provide a benefit at death. And we could also add a surrender value to this contract. So as I'm talking about some of these things, lifetime benefits, guaranteed single pays, benefits at death if you never need care, sounds a whole lot like an asset-based product, doesn't it? But it's not, it's a traditional chassis. So you now have this traditional long-term care product called Essential LTC that provides the similar value proposition that an asset-based product would. If you need care, there could be a long-term care benefit. If you die and you don't need care, return a premium can go to your benefit beneficiary when you die. Or if you change your mind and you want to cancel the policy, we can give you up to 80% of your premiums back. So you've got this traditional product, one arrow in your quiver where you can have the traditional conversation or have the conversation that whether you live, you die, or you cancel, there could potentially be a benefit in any of those scenarios. Here's how we do it. I'm going to begin by speaking about two of our return of premium riders. And for those of you who've been doing this for a little while, uh, this lingo here is going to sound familiar if you think back 10, 15 years. Limited return of premium. That was around 10 or 15 years ago. We talked about it differently at that time, though, didn't we? Back then, we would say things like, well, it's cheaper for your life insurance to be your life insurance. Don't buy return of premium. But what was happening 10 or 15 years ago? All these asset-based or linked benefit, whatever you want to call them, these products were just gaining popularity. Today, they're very popular. So with this product bringing back a limited return of premium rider, it's the same exact thing, but today I talk about it differently. I'm gonna tell you why. How this rider works is we look at premiums paid, we look at any benefits received as long-term care claims. If there's anything left, it goes to a beneficiary. So I stop for a second and say, wait, this is exactly how an asset-based product works. And just instead of that first pool of money there called a premium, it's called a death benefit. And it's reduced every dollar for long-term care claims paid. If there's anything left, it goes to a beneficiary. So this rider is really what makes this compete very well with asset-based or linked benefit plans out there. Now, of course, with this rider, if the long-term care claim is much larger than premiums paid, the beneficiary would get nothing, right? So that's limited return of premium. I get really excited about this one because not only are we price competitive with our hybrid competitors, um, we can provide a very similar value proposition. It's just called something different, return of premium versus death benefit. Now we have something that to my knowledge, no life insurance based products can do, and that's called a full return of premium. And what that does is we look at premiums paid, and even if we've paid you millions in long-term care benefits, Every penny you paid us, we will pay back to your beneficiary when you die. That one is less frequently used because it is expensive, 
But if you have a wealthy individual who can afford this, that's a tremendous value proposition. Tremendous value proposition. Even, especially, let's say it's um, in a corporate scenario, and I'll talk more about tax advantages a little later. Let's think about this for a second. Say there's tax advantage money paying the premium, and then you go on claim, you get tax-free long-term care benefits, and then you die, and we give you every penny of the tax advantage money that went in goes to the beneficiary, tax-free, because we don't issue a 1099 for a return of premium benefit. That's a pretty tremendous scenario, isn't it? Tax-free money going in, tax-free money coming out in long-term care benefits, and no 1099 to the beneficiary with a return of premium. That's pretty tremendous. So it is expensive, but when that shoe fits, it fits very well. Last note on these return of premium riders, they are both a second to die return of premium uh, if it's on a joint policy. So that's why you have that little parentheses S on the bottom of both of those bubbles. Now, we have two more return of premium riders that look just like these two, but you add a surrender value to them. So, and you see on the screen, it grades up to 80% of premiums paid by year four and stays there for the life of the policy unless that value is reduced by any claims paid. Here's where I get excited about this product again. So you're having your conversation. You start with traditional long-term care. They say, I need a benefit if I never need care. You check that return of premium box. If they say, I'm even thinking about canceling this in the future, you can add the surrender. Flexibility there is tremendous. You look at a link benefit product, when you buy it, you're automatically paying for live, die, and cancel benefits. Here, you can just get live benefits or die benefits. You don't have to pay for cancel if they, it's not important to the client. In fact, it's not important to most clients because less than 1% of people lapse their long-term care insurance. So again, flexibility here is something that I really like in the way we built this product. So how's this one look on paper? How do we compete? So I'm gonna say there's a 55 year old couple here with about $150,000 available. And let's look at a scenario where we look at a potential claim in 30 years. So I'm gonna put us next to our hybrid competitor here who has a sweet spot of a six year benefit period. Uh, if that hasn't given away what carrier or product this is, I'm sure you'll figure it out as we go. But, <clears throat> excuse me, they sell mainly six year benefits. I'm gonna use a five year with us because I'm also gonna use our shared benefit amount. So what's this look like in 30 years? Well, with the three pools of money, there's about 2.1 million available with Essential LTC. With this competitor and their two six year policies, it's about 1.4 million available. Same premium going in, that's the difference in long-term care benefits. Now what if they die and never need care? The hybrid competitor is a life insurance based plan, whereas we're a dollar for dollar return of premium. Their death benefit's gonna look a little bit better. But personally, if the person's coming to you to plan for long-term care, this shouldn't be the, most, the biggest highlight of this comparison. What if they decide to cancel? Comparable benefits there as well. And the monthly daily benefit, we offer a pretty tremendous value there too, okay? So as you're having some of these hybrid or linked benefit conversations, please make us an option on the table because we can provide tremendous value in some of these scenarios, especially for couples. Now there's another large hybrid competitor we have out there. I'm gonna say the same couple, 55 years old, 150 grand in premium, potential claim in 30 years. This competitor loves lifetime benefits. That probably gave away who this is. And they also issue a joint policy, but for them it's one large pool. Okay. If it wasn't lifetime, that would be how it would be reduced based on claims. And this carrier breaks their policy into two portions. And typically that first portion doesn't have inflation on it to keep them price competitive. So one of these folks goes on claim in 30 years, there's probably going to be a couple hundred thousand dollars of expenses just based on out-of-pocket costs because there is no inflation on that first three years worth of care. Well, let's look at essential LTC. I'll put in roughly the same premium, 150 grand, and I'll use our lifetime benefits. And you see on the bottom, I have not need LTC as zero. I'm gonna show them pure long-term care first. What do we look like? Well, from day one, we can provide a $461 daily benefit 
lifetime benefits. It's pretty interesting. But Mr. Agent, I can't get around what if I don't need long-term care? What can you show me now? Well, I'll keep your premium about the same, but look at the bottom of the screen in that not need long-term care box. I can add a dollar for dollar return of premium if you never need care, and it'll be reduced by claims paid. And look in the middle now, the yellow highlighted screen. Your daily benefit went from 460 or so down to about 300 a day, but that'd be available from day one of claim after you satisfy your elimination period. Or would you rather go with the other side where you have a lower benefit for the first three months and then about 300 a day thereafter? Entirely up to you. Personally, I'd rather not have the couple hundred thousand of out-of-pocket expenses down the road in the future if I can get either one of these and have roughly the same premium going in. Now to be even more fair, what if I cancel and never need care? I'll add our surrender value. And that decreases our daily benefit to 270 a day. But remember, it's from day one. Pretty interesting comparison here, right? Now, personally, I'm not the biggest lifetime benefits person because I love our third shared benefit amount. Let's say I did a five-year benefit period. You go, hang on, Lawrence, you're jumping from lifetime down to five years? But hang on a second, if I did our five-year benefit period, that's three five-year pools of money. That's potentially 15 years worth of care, which in my brain, that's a whole lot of care for a couple. Most couples aren't gonna use all that. Some might, things could change in the future in terms of utilization data, but 15 years worth of care is a whole lot of care. And on day one, that daily benefit is $388 and compare that to the other side of the table where for the first three years it's 170. I think we provide a pretty compelling option here. Okay. So that was the first sales idea I wanted to relate some of these features to was that we can compete very well in that asset-based or linked benefit hybrid type of a world. The second thing I wanted to just take a couple minutes and chat about is that we do have a program available for the work site. Uh, California did approve it and it is a unisex employer group rate class. It is not a separate product or separate filing or any of that stuff. It's just a separate rate class available to all our issue ages, which are age nearest 40 to age nearest 79. And it's very competitive for couples. There's no underwriting concession, but we're because of that, we are able to keep this very simple. You send us a group, it's a pretty streamlined approval process. If you don't hear from us same day or next day, I'd be surprised. Unless you send us a group that's called bomb testers LLC or something like that, we're probably approving your group very quickly. We will look at any business with at least five employees and minimum participation is very low. It ranges from two to five issued employees and that varies by state. Uh, California, by the way, is three issued employees is the minimum there. And there's no comp reduction if you use the unisex rate class, you get the regular comp. So great option for carve outs, small businesses, business owner and partner kinds of cases, um, we can provide pretty interesting options here with the unisex employer group rate class. And not to mention the tremendous tax advantages you could have in those scenarios, especially when comparing to a hybrid product. You got a business owner that's looking at one of the hybrid products, you know, single pay kind of a basis. We can do those same things as you saw in the last few slides, but we're 100% on a traditional long-term care chassis. So with the life insurance based hybrid products, you can only deduct a portion of the premium. There's some scenarios with traditional long-term care where you could deduct the whole thing. So we could have some pretty interesting conversations there as well. And as you see on the screen, we do print a tax summary, which is a great piece for you to have. The last thing I wanted to highlight is that we do accept funds via 1035 exchange. Due to the advent of the Pension Protection Act that was enacted in 2010, we're able to do this. A lot of folks didn't know this, mainly because once 2010 rolled around, to my knowledge, there was one carrier still doing single premium long-term care, and they stopped it shortly thereafter. And at the time, they didn't accept 1035s. Well, we do. And because of the PPA that went into effect in 2010, we can accept funds from both a non-qualified annuity, or a cash value life insurance policy, okay? And that's the whole amount. So that includes all those gains they never paid tax on, okay? And you use that to pay the policy premium for long-term care, 
And the benefits that come out the other end are tax-free long-term care benefits. So you're able to waive your long-term care specialist magic wand here, and you take a potentially taxable asset and turn it into tax-free long-term care benefits. It's a pretty interesting scenario. A couple things to look out for. We cannot accept qualified money. The annuity must be non-qualified. It's a direct transfer from the surrendering company to us, and it has to be what's called a like-for-like -like transfer. So same owners, same insureds on the surrendering policy as on the existing policy. This only comes up really for couples. So if you have a couple and the husband has cash value life insurance just on him, can't transfer it into joint long-term care. Okay, so be aware of that. And keep in mind, if you do this on a single premium basis, it guarantees the premium for long-term care. You will never have a rate increase. It's a pretty interesting step. And I wanted to share with you a strategy that I've seen used in the field that seems to be pretty successful. And you've at this point identified their assets, their income, et cetera. And your gold mine is if you've identified an asset that they still have, but their needs for it have changed. Say a life insurance policy that was bought many moons ago and the need for that has changed because the kids are grown, they're retired now, whatever it might be, right? So you have the conversation, look, Mr. Prospect, I can help you in one of two ways. I can help you transfer the risk to an insurance company using traditional long-term care insurance and you pay for it with your available income or assets. But I can help you also do what you told me you were gonna do in the beginning of this conversation. You told me you wanted to self-insure and you were gonna use your life insurance or your annuities to do it. I can help you self-insure, but I can help you do it longer and better than you're doing it on your own. Would you mind if we discuss both of these options? You generally don't get a no to that question. And that's the key question to make sure this go, goes forward. Because if you say, look, I want to talk to you about long-term care insurance. You've given them one option. You could get a no. Here, you've given them two options. And you told them you can help him, sales psychology, do what he wants to do. But you can help him do it better and longer than he could do it on his own. You peaked interest. You generally get a yes to this question. Here's how you proceed. They've identified that they wanna use their life insurance or their annuities to self-insure. For sake of this conversation, let's say it's just that life insurance sliver of the pie. Well, Mr. Prospect, if we take that life insurance and I use this vehicle called the 1035 exchange, I can exchange that into another policy to help you self-insure better and longer than you're doing it on your own. Look at how much larger that sliver of the pie got. And I turned that into potential tax-free long-term care benefits. The money is exchanged tax-free. And oh, by the way, if you never need care, I can give you every penny back. When you die, it'll go to your beneficiaries. Or if you decide you change your mind, you can cancel it and have up to 80% of your premiums back. The reaction to this a lot of the time is, this seems too good to be true. How come nobody talked to me about this? And if you paint the picture this way, you're just exchanging that life insurance and helping him self-insure just a whole lot better than he could have done it by doing nothing. Well, how do you structure this policy? For everyone on this call, it's all the stuff we already talked about. Look, if you live, we can give you long-term care benefits with a lifetime benefit period or a two through six year benefit period with a shared pool. If you die and never need care, we've got these great return of premium options for you to choose from. And if you decide you might even think about canceling this policy, we can add a surrender value to it. So this, folks, is why I, I began the way that I did and said that traditional long-term care can be what you want it to be because we have these flexible features on the top of this gray box here that allow you to mold this thing into whatever your client or your prospect is telling you is most important to them. And I think the most popular sales ideas we're seeing today are using us in the asset-based conversation, using us in the work site or for small executive groups and having that 1035 conversation. And of course, we fit very well into the traditional plain Jane long-term care. Um, so I think all four of those areas are very good areas for you to have us as an option on the table. Again, I wanna make sure you don't forget about our phenomenal promotion going through the end of August where we're sending you free money, or at least that's what I like to call it, a way for us to send you $100 Amazon gift cards.
for each qualified app submitted. And don't forget, if you've never submitted an App10GL, this would be a great icebreaker. We'll send you two $100 Amazon gift cards for submitting that application. Again, a qualified application just means you're appropriately licensed and that it is a viable application. So don't answer yes to a knockout question. It proceeds to underwriting. Um, it is a viable application for this promotion. Okay. That all being said, I think I've been going for about a half hour and I generally like to keep these to about a half hour. Um, happy to answer any questions that have come in. Uh, Katie, or any questions you have or comments or really anything at all, please feel free. I want to make sure we're addressing any questions or concerns that anyone on this call might have. Well, Lawrence, I'm looking at this. Um, some people have typed in a few things, and that was just that they were going to get a copy of the presentation and some product information. So uh, I'm going to kind of leave it open for a couple more minutes just to make sure no one has any last-minute questions. And if it's later in the day you think of something, please feel free. You will be seeing a copy of this presentation along with the slides. I will also attach a sales introduction along with a product introduction for everyone to review. And along with that, we are also going to send out our pre-qualification form for anybody that wants to see what maybe their po uh, potential or prospective client would look like. So uh, a couple questions are coming in here, Lawrence. First of all, do your benefits pay overseas? Uh, yes. In, in the specimen contract, that, that area is called coverage outside the United States. So that's the language to look for. And we'll pay for up to 30 days per calendar year. That's the full benefit for up to 30 days per calendar year. That's outside of the U.S., Canada, and any U.S. territories. So if you're in Canada or, say, uh, Puerto Rico or uh, American Samoa, um, you get your full benefits there. Perfect. Another one is shared regarding shared benefit. What is the time limit or is there any limit on shared benefit? Hmm. I'm not sure I follow that question entirely, but I think I know where I, you're I going. If this what, didn't answer your question, I think question, what they're asking is, is in a follow up. Maximizing. Yeah, I think what they're a ask, asking is, is what's the maximized benefit period, which would be six, six, and six. Right. That, that's what I, I thought they were getting at as well. So if you get a six-year benefit period, each insured has their own six years, and then there's a third six-year pool available first come, first serve. So that shared benefit amount is equal to one of the original pools. So if it was a three-year benefit period, there'd be a third three-year pool. I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, please uh, feel free to type in a follow-up there. Another one is, how long is the wait for someone who was in alcohol rehab with no medications? Don't have that underwriting answer on the top of my head. Um, I do believe we would require them to, of course, no longer be drinking and continuously, you know, attend whatever program that they're attending. However, uh, don't take that as golden rule because I'm not an underwriter, and I would strongly encourage you to send that information to Katie and her team so they can chat with our underwriters. Our underwriters are very good at looking at these things on a case-by-case -case basis, and I'd urge you to pre-qualify anything you plan on submitting or even considering us for because um, we make them available. So please pre-qualify. Our underwriters are more than happy to chat with you or Katie and her team about the case. Um, so that one, for example, that'd be a great one to do. Felicia, I'll I'll give you um, I'll shoot you an email in a little while, or give you a call, and we can go over that case and then find out the details, and then submit it over to the underwriters so we can get uh, consistent information on that side. Another one is due to the fact that this presentation presentation was largely around your shared benefit. Does NGL offer an LTC product for a single applicant? Yes, absolutely, we do. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, sometimes I probably get a little too excited about our shared benefit. I just, I think it's a great setup. And when I was in the field, I loved the idea of having that ability to sell that product. Um, so yes, we absolutely have single policies available. In fact, here's how our rates work. We have a single male rate, a single female rate, and then the joint rate. So yes, we do have singles available, uh, competitively, 
uh, to be completely blunt with everybody. Um, on singles, we're going to win some, we're going to lose some. Sometimes we'll be the best deal, sometimes we won't. I think with couples, that's where we're really going to provide a consistently compelling value for you. Um, but definitely, at least, you know, with the singles, run it, put it on the table and see what it looks like. And if you need any help with that, I know Katie and her team are happy to help you compare. Perfect. Another one is, will NGL allow joint or shared benefits to same-sex couples? Yes. Actually, we'll issue a joint policy to, here's our rule, any two people living together. It's that easy. Doesn't matter if they're sharing finances, doesn't matter how long, any two people living together. The only caveat we have is that if they're related, they must be of the same generation. So siblings would be fine. Mother, daughter wouldn't fit the rule. Perfect. How about NGL stance on e-apps? We do have an e-app. It is available via our website. Um, it's fully integrated with DocuSign. Uh, you're welcome to use it if you'd like to. We still accept paper apps if you want to mail them, or you could even get them to Katie and her team, and they can upload them to us. Um, Antonio, I see the continuation of that question was also for applications. I'm happy to send you out that information along with uh, contracting, and that, and that is for anyone and everyone that would be interested. You will get an email regarding the like I said, again, the recording and the marketing materials. And if you want the contracting or if you want to see an application, just respond to that email and I'd be happy to get them out to you. We have a couple more questions on that here. Note, um, the web and oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no worries. On that note, I just wanted to say it sounds like we're starting to dig a little deeper and investigate apps and website and that kind of stuff. We just released a phenomenal tool that I'm going to pop up on the screen. And if you can't see this, this will be part of the follow-up, I'm sure, as well. Write this link down. Make sure you include the HTTPS colon slash slash. Write this link down. This is an open access link to our new quick quote calculator that I really like a lot. And it's really easy to use. You don't need a login. You just go to that link that I told you and include that HTTPS or it won't work. So you go to this link. And you just select your state. I'm going to say it's a joint policy. And you just put in a couple dates of birth. And I'm just going to put there both as 1-1-1960. Male, female, couple. I'll give them both our best rate class. And I hit next. Well, what happens? Well, it defaults to pretty straight down the middle long-term care. 150 a day, three-year benefit, shared, 3% compound, 90-day a limb. Your second step you want to return a premium or not? I'm going to say no for this example. Third step is premium. Do you want a lifetime, a 10 pay, or a single pay? And pick your mode. These other options aren't too frequently changed, but they're available if you want to change them. So really, in these three quick steps, and mind you, I just changed nothing, you can hit calculate. And it provides you what I think is a pretty interesting image that displays the value proposition of the plan. You've got two insureds, each with their own pool of money. Then you have a third shared benefit pool, and your premium is about $33.50 for life. What if I chose a 10 pay? Well, this thing's interactive and changes. So it'll say $78.80 for 10 years. Okay. Let's look at the rest of the value image here. So a policy issue, you paid in your $78.80. Your benefits are almost half a million dollars, available up to $150 per day. Well, let's, what's it look like at age 85? Well, you've paid about 80 grand, 10 times your uh, annual 10 pay, and your long-term care benefits are over a million bucks, available at $300 a day. Wow, I paid an 80 grand to get a million bucks? This looks too good to be true. That's how it works. Now, you can also generate a one-page quick quote report that you can hand your client. So you hit generate report, you can put in a name, there's an agent I ran one for, um, you can put your email, phone number, their names, all this is optional, except in California. You hit print quote, and you've got a one-page quick quote. Top half of the page is that value image. Bottom half is pretty well just a summary of the inputs. I think this is a great tool. Again, open access, bookmark that link, 
And I think this here really helps you frame the sales conversation as to why this policy is so valuable. So I wanted to show that to everybody and make sure you have access to it. I am getting some messages. It was hard for some people to read the link. So just so you know, we will add that to our follow-up. And we'll just put the uh, web address right there for you so you can go out and check that out. When you're in there, um, again, I'm open to any questions that may come up and looking for any product design or anything like that. Another thing that we're having is um, questions on comp and renewals. I am writing down some information and I will give you a call regarding compensation and renewals and any kind of licensing questions. We do have a couple more questions for you, Lawrence. One being, if a three-year benefit with a shared pool Hold on. If, if a three-year benefit is offered on a shared pool, if the full amount is not needed in three years, would it extend? Maybe maybe explain how that works. Is it? Um, yes. So it, and maybe the short I'll, answer I, is yes. To elaborate, we are a reimbursement long-term care policy. So if you got a $200 daily benefit and a three-year benefit period, and you only used $100 a day on the nose for three years straight, you'll have another $100 a day left for another three years, or if you use 200 for the other years, it'd be a year and a half left. So it is based on a pool of money because it's reimbursement long-term care and it's up to the actual charges. So a three-year benefit could last longer than three years. What is NGL's stance on marijuana use, specifically where it states that it is legal? Uh, depends on quantity and what it's being used for. So if it's for recreational use, it would depend on quantity and any other things going on. Um, we are not completely closed off to it, um, but I do not believe we would issue our best rate class for it. So any of those scenarios, again, uh, pre-qualify uh, and use Katie and her team so they can get that to our underwriters and we can let you know what we think of that particular situation. The last one I can see out here, Lawrence, is can they can you illustrate a group policy on your online software? You can. What you would do, bear with me, is when you go to the original screen, and again, it's not a group policy, it's just a separate rate class. So when you go here, you just select employer group from the rate class, and that will then display the unisex premium rates for employer groups. A couple more coming in. This is a pool of benefits, and you get a monthly benefit. I guess I guess in this one, and Jane, I can I can speak to this. I'm going to give you a call too. But with this, this is actually, and I always tell anyone, this is a pool of money. This is a pool of long-term care dollars when you need it that will be reimbursed on a monthly basis. So with that, yes, this is a pool of benefits policy. And, you know, they will take it out dollar for dollar of reimbursement. I will give you a call and we can right. do that as well. And, and something that will, um, that? yeah, something that will also speak to that, you know, even looking at this scenario, let's just isolate this at age 85 part for a second. So you see the long-term care benefits, the pools added together is $1.1 million. And at age 85, that's payable up to $305 per day. So if you use less, whatever you didn't use just stays in the pool and then the policy lasts longer. And I think that's exactly what Katie just said. This just kind of gives you a visual for it. Well, I think we've come to the end of our questions and uh, can't stress enough. And I know I keep saying it, but please, as they come up, email. I will be sending out the information, I'm hoping, by this afternoon. But uh, if at worst, it will be tomorrow. That being said, my information will be at the bottom, and I would be happy to address any questions, concerns, or run some illustrations at that time. So, Katie, any contact if info anybody you if want I just, me to um, put up on the screen for you? Um, you know, it's just if you have our 800 number, I think most people have it, and I have most, I have everyone's emails. But do you have our 800 number? Uh, read it out real quick, and I'll Lawrence, put it up on the screen. Sure, it's it's eight it's eight hundred three six five eight two zero eight, 
And to meet to reach me directly would be extension two two six. All right, bear with me just a second, and, then, and there we go. And uh, eight two zero oh, eight. I missed the number. There we go. And then Lawrence, I actually have I a couple more policies or policy questions on this. They they would like an explanation on daily reimbursement regarding your policy. So daily reimbursement. So we will reimburse the insured for actual charges up to the daily benefit amount. So if the daily benefit amount is say $200 a day and the charge is 120, we will pay the insured 120. The remaining 80 they didn't use just stays in the pool for them to use later. Perfect. Well, I want to thank everyone again for their time. We are just under the hour mark. So I do appreciate you taking time out of your day and joining us. Again, that is our 800 number if you want to call me direct or just respond to my email. If I did miss any questions, and I don't, and I don't think we did, I do see there's some uh, requests for specimen policies and a lot of comp questions, but I will be sending that directly over. So again, thank you all for your time, and I appreciate it and look forward to working with each of you. Everyone take care.